Serena, we got together this summer before freshman year when people said, why would you want to date someone going into college? Although it seemed like inopportune timing back then, I believe it was part of God's plan for the two of us. There were so many things that could have gotten in the way of us being together, but that clearly wasn't the plan. I believe we were meant to be in each other's lives and are meant to be standing here next to each other today. Because of that, I promise to always love and support you, no matter the circumstances. I promise to be your biggest fan when things go great, and comfort you and rub your back when things don't. I promise to always laugh with you, and always keep your feelings in mind. I promise to be the best husband, father, and friend I can be, and always keep God in our lives. I promise to love you no matter what, and to always stand by your side. I love you so much, Serena, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Nick, I feel so blessed that God put you into my life and has chosen me to be your wife. I pray that God would lead me to this choice to you as my husband. You are truly the best friend, and I can't wait to build a life with you. Today and every day after, I promise you this. I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and speak to you with encouragement. I vow to remind you to never take life too seriously and to push you out of your comfort zone. I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you. I promise to honor you and love you and cherish you as my husband today and forever. And last but not least, I promise that there's one cookie left to always let you have it. <laughs> I love you and I cannot wait for the rest of our lives together. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and pleasure to introduce to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Stasko. I would like to start off the night by thanking the two families for such a beautiful celebration tonight. Serena is the type of person that wears her heart on her sleeve. She can make friends with quite literally anyone, and she can do anything she sets her mind to. You look absolutely beautiful today, Serena. I remember meeting you for the first time at our spring formal. Nick was a completely different person when you were around. He was more personable, a little bit more outgoing, and somewhat funny. She's kind, caring, and compassionate. She lights up any room that she walks into. Serena, you're an absolute inspiration. I've noticed that Serena has continuously brought the best out of Nick in every single way. So last night, one of the groomsmen said to me, you know, how do you feel about losing a daughter? You never lose a daughter. I gained another son. I can guarantee you the Staskos and the Spars and the Morialis have been praying for the right spouse for their child. And we hit the lottery. Now, Nick. Now that you're Serena's husband, deciding to marry Serena is the last decision you'll make. Nick and I met on the W and J men's soccer team. So, as a goalie, Nick was never the fastest kid or the most skilled with his feet. But man, was he the best at making coach yell. I got your juicy fruit gum, so you guys stick. To Mr. and Mrs. Stasco, may your marriage be long, fruitful, and happy. Cheers to many years of love, happiness, and everything in between. I love you guys. I wish you all the happiness and love in the world, but a little bit of sorrow so you can appreciate the difference.